Hi friends, host Eric here in front of the O'Reilly Auto Parts store to discuss the relationship between SI and other cognitive functions. When we talk about the function SI, introverted sensing, what we're doing is describing a relationship with three other functions, extroverted intuition, introverted intuition, and, and, and extroverted sensing. So an example of why I'm an introverted sensor, and this is this was quite telling, is that I've been planning to stop someplace and get a quart of oil and add a quart of oil to the car here for quite some time. It's something that's repeatedly triggered in my memory. Every time I get in the car, practically, I think multiple times, maybe I should stop and get a quart of oil. Remember, don't forget to get a quart of oil, etc. But I set no timeline for myself, especially. And if I, even if I did, it would be an arbitrary one. And so I drive around for quite some time until I'm in the right mood or whatever, and then I get the oil. And then I don't have to think about it anymore. Now, what this reveals is just how unconscious my extroverted sensing is and how conscious my introverted sensing is and that's part of the weakness of the relationship between the two for me it's that for somebody with more conscious or more functional extroverted sensing they'll understand the value of getting those memory remembered tasks off of your plate much more effectively than i will and if we're going to describe introverted sensing in terms of extroverted intuition, well, the problem is I keep thinking, well, remember to do this, but then I have some other ideas of things to do or other ideas of things to think about. And as a consequence, I don't end up shifting into doing the thing I'm remembering, but perhaps building off of it ideas. Huh, what does the fact that I'm not stopping to get oil right now mean in terms of cognitive functions when I'm thinking about myself and other people? It's something I'm likely to do when I, my memory prompts me to get oil rather than actually get the oil, okay? In terms of the relationship with, with introverted intuition, they're both knowledge functions. And they're two different kinds of knowledge functions. To be an introverted sensing dom means to have that kind of automatic but not conscious relationship with introverted intuition that I have with extroverted sensing. So, in other words, when the introverted intuition conveniently supports the introverted sensing, the introverted sensor will have ample introverted intuition at their disposal. When it's not in support of the introverted sensing, then it won't be there at all. So what this plays out as is an introverted sensor is most likely to be a particularist knower. I mean, is, is most defined as being a particularist knower, but whether or not their TE or FE is going to make a lot of difference into how particularist that, that, that knowledge turns out to be. In the ISFJ, there's a good relationship sometimes with between the introverted sensing and the introverted intuition if they're interested in, in intellectual things like cognitive functions, you know. But regardless, only so far as it's in support of their personal experiential knowing, whether it's from what they've learned before, what they've observed, or more, what they've experienced before, unless it's in support of that, that introverted intuition won't come to them. They may be able to recognize it from other people, but it won't naturally occur to them. Uh, to clarify a matter that's in that's not in support of their particular belief they already have. So that explains the relationship between introverted sensing, extroverted sensing, and extroverted intuition somewhat, not in great depth. But the other thing to remember is that an introverted sensor anywhere on the front stack is going to have a relationship to the kinds of things that they uh, remember as well. So if I'm an introverted sensor with extroverted feeling, I'm much more likely to remember language-based things and be good with language in a way that can sometimes have ISFJs mistaking themselves for ENTPs, and rather than if I'm an SITE person, my relationship with language is gonna be much less robust. But in either case, I'm gonna have fewer ideas and remember them more, rather than more ideas and remember them less.